Eva, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this is where we make fashion fun and food simple. I've partnered up with Oldo Pasta to create three vegan taco slash burrito fillings. I thought it'd be useful, especially if you're throwing a giant party, just because not everybody has the same diet slash lifestyle and you want to be able to accommodate for everybody to be a good host. Plus, I really do love vegan food. I love how expansive it is, how creative it is, how good it tastes, how fresh it is. I love everything about vegan food, so if I have a chance to play with it, I might as well try it. Also, these recipes were made in small portions, so feel free to double, triple, quadruple, just to make it as big as you want for as many people as you need. Other than that, I'm so excited to share with you guys these recipes because I'm so happy with how good they turned out and how good they taste. So let's just get right into it. I wanted something that would remind me of the traditional taco meat, so I figured lentils would be the best candidate. In a pot, add a drizzle of olive oil, one to two cloves of chopped garlic, and about a quarter of a chopped onion. You can adjust the amounts to taste whether you like a lot of onions or garlic or not. Saute everything until it's slightly browned. Add in half a cup of rinsed lentils and cook according to directions but with vegetable broth instead of water. I used a mixture of one and a half cups of vegetable broth and half a cup of water. Add one to two tablespoons of taco seasoning. This is so that when the lentils soak up the broth, it also soaks up some of the taco seasoning. We can always adjust the taste later, so start off with less. Cook your lentils according to directions and when they're done, have a taste and add more taco seasoning as needed. Now just skip it into your tortilla or taco shell with your favorite vegan toppings and serve. Next up is cauliflower bites. They're pretty much the vegan and healthy version of popcorn chicken or chicken fingers. Start off by making a paste with 6 tablespoons of flour, 1 to 2 tablespoons of taco seasoning, and 4 tablespoons of water. Add more or less seasoning and water as needed. If you want a lot of breading, have a thicker paste. If you want less, have a thinner paste with more water. And then in a separate bowl or plate, fill it with vegan or panko breadcrumbs. You're also going to want to oil a lined baking tray with extra virgin olive oil. Make sure your cauliflower is cut, washed, and dried. I cut mine really small so it'd have more crunch when I fill my taco with it. Now just cut the cauliflower pieces in the paste and cover it with the breadcrumbs. Then just place it into the pan and bake it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit until the cauliflower is crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. It helps to stick a fork into a few to check. Mine take about 25 minutes to cook. Cooking times vary depending on how large your bites are. The bigger they are, the longer they take to cook. All you have to do is add the bites into a taco with your favorite fillings and serve. Next up is rice. I really like rice because I find it filling and very versatile, so I wanted to use it as a filling. Using your favorite type of rice, rinse it and place it into a pot or pan. I used half a cup. I then added a cup of water. For more flavor, replace the water with vegetable broth. Just remember to keep a 1 to 2 ratio for rice to liquids. Then add 1 to 2 tablespoons of taco seasoning and mix. When combined, cook your rice with a lid until it's done and you are satisfied with the texture. Now add any of your favorite fillings. I used black beans. Then add some chopped tomatoes, either canned or fresh, for some extra moisture. Mix everything up and have a taste to see if anything needs to be adjusted. I added some more taco seasoning. Then just like the usual, plate everything up. Those are all the vegan recipes I wanted to share with you guys. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Let's try and get this video to 200 likes. Don't forget to subscribe to me for weekly videos and I want you guys to comment down below letting me know what your favorite taco topping is. Mine would have to be salsa. I'll see you guys all soon. Bye!